Hello everyone, welcome to Music Theory, Grade 3, and we are in Week 11, brought to you by To Enable. Today we are discussing Solfa Notation. What is Solfa Notation? Solfa Notation is a system which is mostly used by singers. It uses different names for the notes. So just like our letter names, solfa notation also have only seven syllables. Then the tonic is repeated for the octave. A solfa notation does not use a staff and we are going to focus on the sulfur names for the major scale for this grade. When we have a C major scale, for instance, from C until C, then the tonic will be Do, then the supertonic will be Re, the median will be Mi, the subdominant Fa, the dominant So, the submedian La, the leading note T, then for the octave Do again. Here are the abbreviations. These are the abbreviations. Now the key is indicated at the beginning as Do C, which will mean that we are in the C major scale or the C major key. We can also indicate octave higher with a comma above or a 1, an octave lower with a comma below or a 1. These are the examples where, as I said, Do is C, that means we are in C major. This will be how the stuff notation will look like and this will be how the sulfur notation will look like. So if Do is G, that means it's G major. That's how it will look like on the stuff and also how it will look like as a sulfur notation. Time signatures and value duration in sulfur. First of all, bars are indicated by vertical lines. It's the same with staff notation, but without the staff. A colon is used to indicate separate beats in the bar or indicate how many crotchets are in the bar. So as we can see in the example, a 2-4 time in staff notation it will be two crotchets like that in sulfur notation we will see by the colon that we got two separate beats or two crotchets 3-4 the colon will help us see that there are three beats in the bar. Also, we have a short vertical line which is used to divide the bar into two halves. So the short vertical line must not be as long as the bar line. It must be short so that we can see that the bar is divided into two separate beats. 
A full stop is used to divide the beat into half. It also indicates quavers. So when we look at the 4-4 four, four time, we can see that there are 8 quavers in the bar. So the first quaver, second quaver, third quaver, fourth quaver, which makes up the first group. Fifth quaver, sixth quaver, seventh quaver, and lastly, the eighth quaver. So it shows us that the full stop will divide the beat into halves. We use a dash to indicate minims and dotted minims. So they say here, the DO, which on the stuff notation we can see that our DO is C. We have a DO, the first beat in a 3-4 time. Then the dash, which indicates that the it's a minim. And then... The last beat will be a crotchet. It is the same with the dotted minim. We know that a dotted minim is how many crotchets? It's three crotchets. So the first one will be here, first crotchet, then dash, dash, which means that it's the two other beats. We can also see the dash over the bar line where it will indicate a slur for our extended crotchet over there. So in this case DO is C and we are in 2-4 time and then there are two bars. So let's see the first bar, the second bar. Great. And now the first beat is a door. The second beat is another door, but it's got a slur. That's why in the second bar, you'll find the dash again, which indicates that that DO, its duration will be two beats. And then finally, the last beat, which is a crotchet. Let's explore the last example, where all of this is combined. We have the dotted, Minim, as we said, there is how we indicate the dotted minim. It starts in this beat, then over to the next beat, and the next beat, which will make three crotchets. Then we have this crotchet, which has a slur. It's indicated by a dash over the bar line. And then DO, which is that one. Then the last one, the MINIM, which will be a beat with a dash. A blank space. Now, a blank space is used to indicate a rest. So, if we look at the crotchet rest first, 
we can see that the first thing our crochet is there there's our crochet on the stuff notation then that rest because the crochet dress lasts for only one beat then the second beat will be blank then we have me and re then finally do which is a dotted minimum remember dash dash then the last beat is a crochet rest there is the blank space over there then when we look at the minimum rest let's look at the minimum rest it's only in the second bar so we have our minimum first the beat with a dash then you got two blank spaces because the minimum rest lasts for two crochets or two beats. That's why it's blank on both sides. Then the quaver rest. The quaver rest, remember, that dots or the full stop indicate quaver. So me, in this case, me is a quaver and it's got a rest as well so that space will be blank this is the first beat because we can see with our colon and then re is a quaver and it's got a rest there's our blank space over there then the last bar We've got a door. There's our door, which is G. It's got a dot because it's a quaver. Blank space because we have a rest. Two blank spaces with a dot or a full stop in the middle to indicate that two quavers are equal to one crochet therefore a crochet rest is two blank spaces with a dot in between below we have an example where we took sulfur notation and converted it into staff notation Remember, when they say Do is G, then it means the piece is in the G major key. We can understand that, remember the crochet? is divided by a colon. There is our colon over there. So the first crochet there it is it's a door then the second crochet is a re third one me colon then we have a rest blank space then so is a quaver then we close off the bar, the second bar, we have one, two, three, four quavers. So there will be four quavers. And then back to the next group of quavers where it starts with a door. It's a quaver. Because of the rest, then we got blank, blank. Then me, 
which is a dotted minim. You know what it will look like? Dash. So have another dash. And then blank for the rest. Then we have fa as a quaver. Then last fa. So crochet colon to separate the beat. T crochet as well. Short vertical line to separate or to divide the group in the bar. Then the octave do, which is a minimum. That's why we have that dash. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.